Today we are back in Inverness and we had a suggestion to eat at Cinnamon Sticks, which is behind us. Now, we actually have been to Cinnamon Sticks several times. We've just never filmed it, but we enjoy it. It's a really good place. It's not in downtown Inverness. It's kind of, I don't know, what'd you say? Maybe five-ish minutes from downtown Inverness, if yeah. that. Um, but it's usually a pretty busy place and their food, they have a good variety of food, but it also tends to be a little bit more pricey than other places, depending on what you get. They serve breakfast and lunch. Well, let's go check it out. The parking lot's not super big, but it's also usually pretty crowded. Let's go see if it shows the hours because they are not open all day. There's a little waiting area out here. Established 1997. I don't think it shows any hours. Do you see any? All right, we're gonna head inside. Oh boy, definitely a wait to get seated. And this is what it looks like on the inside. And then you can see over to the right, they have more seating options there. There's only two people in front of us, so it shouldn't be that long of a wait, but it's definitely a busy, busy place. They do have the Wi-Fi password on the wall as you come in, and you can either enter this way, or there's doors over that way and kind of a waiting area as well that you can enter that way, but you're gonna get your name right here at this little stand. We're actually going back here in a booth, which is nice. We're right back here. All right, so we are seated back here. It got very, very crowded in here, but we at least got a booth. And then right around this corner are the restrooms. I just didn't have room to show you that. And then um, you can kind of see there is more like regular seats up there and seats in the front with their little bar. Now, if we look at the menu, it does show their hours are until three. So seven to three, there's their address and also the pharmacy. It's got like these smoothies, bowls and different other healthy items. Here is the menu, so hot off the griddle. Omelets. Breakfast flatbreads. Look at the fruity coconut pancakes. Some different things there. Traditional breakfast. Off the trail lighter breakfast. I'm guessing the GF is gluten friendly. And I think DF might be Dylan's favorites. We'll see if we can figure that out. Toast. Oh, dairy free. That's that's also a good point. We'll see if we can find it. There's senior breakfast. You gotta be 55 and older. There's Cinnamon Sticks Originals, Skillet Breakfasts. Now we're on to like the lunch signature sandwiches. They do have a Reuben. I don't guess I've ever tried the Reuben here. The Garden Salads. Buffalo Shrimp Salad. Lunch Flatbreads. I think you're right about the DF. Probably dairy free because unless they just label a bunch of stuff Dylan's favorites. Fresh ground Angus burgers. Oh, I guess they do kind of have some dinners, even though it's not technically open for maybe an early dinner, but there's some home style dinners and some senior dinners. And that's that menu. This is the pharmacy, which we were referring to about like their healthy stuff. Some overnight oats. And then they've got an autumn feature menu. Look at the seasonal menu there. A bread bowl. And then this is flavors, fruit tea, milk tea. So you choose your flavor. It's actually pretty cool. It's around 11 o'clock, so I, I'm torn between breakfast and lunch, but I think I might actually try the Reuben because I don't think I've ever tried it before. So here's the Reuben. Comes with either fries, coleslaw, or fresh fruit. You can get onion rings or sweet potato fries for extra. I'll probably just try it with their fries, but that sounds really good. Also something that wasn't on the menu, but they have, they have cinnamon sticks, hence the name cinnamon sticks, and they're very good. So we'll order one of those for dessert or like a little snack because those are really good. 
What did you end up getting? The Philly, everything Philly toast with gluten-free bread. So they do offer gluten-free bread. Well, that's cool. A lot of gluten-friendly, I don't know, gluten-free, gluten-friendly options, it seems. Yeah. Also, I was torn there at the last minute between the Reuben or their like harvest ham seasonal wrap. That sounded really good, but I ended up going with the Reuben because I don't believe I've tried it here ever. I ended up going with the unsweet Arnold Palmer. That always looks so cool. They do have decorations on the wall for sale. You can see they've got like different little price prices on them. Here is the Reuben. That looks very good. The fries, the fruit. And then, what was yours again? The Philadelphia avocado something? Everything Philly. Everything Philly with the gluten-free bread. So something interesting is the side of Thousand Island actually comes in a packet. So it doesn't come in like a little container, but you can easily put it on your plate. This is actually a pretty large sandwich. It looks very good. Let's give it a try. That is a very good Reuben. That is a very, very good Reuben. Now let's try the fries. Now they're not super duper crispy. Um, actually, like, here's a crispy one. There's not a crispy one, but let's try it. I'm gonna dip it in the Thousand Island. Now the flavor of the fry, very, very good. Not crispy, so that would be kind of the only negative I would say is the fries aren't crispy, but the flavor is very good. All right, how's the toast and stuff? Mm -hmm. Is the gluten-free toast decent? Because I know sometimes it can be kind of like chewy or not as good. Yeah, no, there's a lot of stuff on it, so. It helps it. Helps, yeah. yeah, cool. It this is a really, really good Reuben. Um, I really have no complaints. If I had to say one, it would be, it's just a little bit of a messy sandwich, but most Reubens are pretty messy. Try a bite of the toast. That is really good. That gluten-free bread is good. Some of the better gluten-free bread I've had before. All right, I'm ready for the other half. I will say this is large. We could easily share this if we didn't want to stuff ourselves. But, I mean, look at all that. We are getting so full. We're getting a little container for the fruit to go. And I'm pretty well stuffed. We did order a cinnamon stick, so I want to save room for that. But it is a very large meal. And here is the cinnamon stick. It smells very good. I will say it makes a mess. If you try eating it in a car, all the powdered sugar and stuff goes all over the place. So we just got it to eat here. But you can just walk into the little bar place up there and order one to go and they can put it in a bag for you to go. Here it is, here we go. Those are good. Those are very delicious. I would recommend even stopping by just to get a cinnamon stick for the road or whatever because those are really good. That was very good, we cleaned that up. One is plenty, but it's, it's really, really good. We are definitely full. We used to get plenty, but I can't. I just took a bite of it. Yeah, it's better for you not to eat all the bread, but they are really good. And one each is probably plenty, but we also wouldn't come get a full meal when we did it That's either. True. We would just go to the coffee bar, get like a coffee to go, like a you know, a latte or whatever, and then get a couple cinnamon sticks for the road. All right, we're heading back out to the car. Uh, the time we got seated to the time we paid was about 42 minutes, so really not bad considering how busy they were. And then total prior to tip was only around $28, so wasn't bad i think the cinnamon stick was around a dollar 30 ish i believe um so not bad at all all right that was our trip out to cinnamon sticks here in inverness this is one that we knew was going to be a good place to go to because we've been several times um but we did have a suggestion to go there and then show it so thank you for that it is a really good place i'd say more times than not we've had good experiences mm -hmm. uh the cinnamon sticks always usually good the actual cinnamon yeah. stick yeah. and then um honestly the reuben was great i couldn't eat it all i probably could have but i would just be so full so i decided not to and then your gluten-free bread was actually pretty good yeah and they bring bread. you three pieces which i mean two i did i eat two yeah, I ate yeah you two. ate two so two would have been enough yeah but it didn't feel as heavy because it's not the regular bread so yeah and again, only 28. You could also, sorry, you could friend. also get it on like a bagel and I think an English muffin as well. So other options. Yeah. And then I was just going to say $28, not bad at all. Considering the price of everything else that has gone up, $28 for a good lunch or breakfast is totally worth it. Um, they do try to 
use like more healthier options, which is good. Mm -hmm. And honestly, all the staff is usually very, very friendly. Mm -hmm. So if you are in the Inverness area and you're close to downtown, it's just a little bit off that. Um, but you can put in the address in a GPS and find it easily. Yeah. With that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.